Meantime, 16,000. That is the number of suspensions handed out to Detroit students in just the course of one school year. And now the district is planning some big changes. Our Paula Tupman joins us now live this afternoon. Paula, we are learning more about these new policies. Yeah, hi, Karen. So this is the current code of conduct. It is 49 pages. And I can tell you that a new code of conduct has been voted on. It'll lay out the framework, not only for the way students are supposed to behave, but also how discipline is meted out. Congratulations. I know what you said. It's graduation day for Westside Academy High School, and Dion is a proud graduate. I'm very proud of myself. I came a long way. Today's an even bigger day for him because as a middle school student, he says he can't even count the number of times he was suspended. You can't count how many times you were suspended? No. I'm, you I, were suspended that much? Yes. They should change that around and get help first to see what's going on, to see why they got suspended. Had it not been for Westside, which is also a Detroit alternative school for students in trouble academically and with behavior problems, he says he would have been lost. I wasn't paying attention, uh, focusing on females, and getting into a lot of fights. The number of incidents of suspension in the Detroit public school system are high, 16,000. Now many of those are repeat offenders with multiple offenses. The thing that troubled me the most was just the sheer number of students that we have that are just not in class full time. Like it is really, really difficult to make the argument that you can learn what you need to learn to be a successful graduate of this district if, you're, if your body is not in the seat, it's not in the classroom. The data speaks for itself that we're suspending too many children. The focus moving forward this fall, keeping students in school and learning, even if they have have to be educated in another space. And the major initiative is to build an in-school suspension program at every school. So this allows students when they make mistakes, because students are going to make mistakes, but they learn from those mistakes by not being excluded from the learning environment. Hence the change in the student code of conduct. Even on some initial fighting incidents, we believe that an in-school suspension is, uh, is more effective than an out-of-school suspension. And Dion, who says he wasn't a bad kid, he was in a bad place doing bad things. What happens when hyper-focus is on discipline while continuing the education process? Dion, I'm so proud of you. So grateful. You did it. Right. You did it. You just made it. Dion happens. But I finished and I did the good thing. And I did what was right for me. All right, congratulations on that uh, graduation, Dion. So with this new code of conduct that's being voted on by the full board tomorrow, what's in it, again, it's not not having accountability. It's being able to educate these young people uh, while being accountable as well. Incidentally, I, I just want to reiterate that number 16,000, I did ask for an actual number of students as well as average days still waiting for those numbers as soon as we get them they will up, we will update them on our social media mm. platforms but still a lot of suspensions and a way to change that karen unbelievable 16,000 in one school year it'll be nice to see some changes made thank you paula